This is Linda from Dev Tips and Tricks, where I try to make your development experience a little easier by guiding you through some of the key concepts quickly and simply. Today, we're going to talk about API keys. An API key is a unique identifier required by Google when making calls to their APIs. My name is Linda Lawton. I have been an application developer for more than 25 years. I'm a Google developer expert, and I have been working with the Google APIs for more than eight years. Please remember to like and subscribe for more developer tips. As always, any links mentioned in this video can be found in the description below. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to go through what an API key is, what it's used for, and how to create one in Google Developer Consult. As a bonus, I'm going to tell you about my number one public API call that I use when developing new user applications. An API key is a unique identifier required by most Google APIs. It identifies your application to Google either for billing purposes or for product quota tracking. In this video, I'm going to start by giving you a bit of background information. We are going to go over what public and private data is. Then we're going to go over what an API key is as well as why you need one. And finally look at how long they last. Then finally, I am going to walk you through creating your own API key on Google Cloud Console. Then as a little bonus, I am going to give you my number one use for an API key. Let's start with a little background information. One of the key things to learn about working with Google APIs is public and private data. Private data is owned by a user and your application needs the permission of that user to access it. Public data, on the other hand, is data that is not owned by anyone, so your application doesn't need user permission to read it. In most cases, you would be using an OAuth token, which would identify your application to Google. But when accessing public data, you don't need an OAuth token. So therefore, we use an API key in order to identify our application when accessing public data. So what is an API key? As I mentioned before, an API key is a unique identifier. It's generated by Google when you create a new API key on Google Cloud Console, and it's linked to your project. API keys are used for several things, the main one being that they identify your application to Google. Being able to track which application is making a request is very important for several reasons. The first being quota. You see, your application is allowed to make a limited number of requests to the API over a period of time. This is your quota allotment. So knowing which application is making the request is the easiest way of tracking how many requests each project is made during a period of time. The second reason why it is important to know which application is making a request is for billing. Knowing which application is making a request is the easiest way of tracking how many requests the project has made in order to charge them for the requests. So do API keys expire? As you know, some tokens, like access tokens for example, do expire. This means that after a certain amount of time, they will no longer work. You will be happy to hear that API keys don't expire. As long as you don't delete them from Google Cloud Console, it'll continue to work forever. Okay, let's create a new API key. You have the option to use an existing project or you can create a new project by selecting new project and then adding a name and selecting create when you're ready. It may take a few minutes for your new project to be created. Once your new project is created, select it. Then click on Credentials on the left. Click on the Create Credentials and select New API Key. I recommend storing this someplace safe. You will need it in your code. During the development process, it's perfectly fine to run this as it is. 
Once you have completed development, it's a good idea to go in and set up some key restrictions. You can restrict the access to this key so that it can only be used from a certain IP address, like on one of your servers, or based upon your website's domain. So now it's time for my bonus. Google Calendar has a list of calendars called holiday calendars. Each country has a different set of holidays. These holiday calendars are public data, which means that you don't need to be authorized in order to access them. So you can simply send an API key and get a list of holidays for each country. It can be a little difficult to find the calendar ID needed in order to make the request. So let me show you how to do that. To be able to request events from a calendar, you first need to know the calendar ID. I'm going to show you how to find a calendar ID for the Google Calendar public holiday calendars. Inside the Google Calendar website, you will first go to Settings, then Browse Calendars of Interest, and scroll down and you will see Regional Holidays. Find the country you're looking for, and select it, and you see how it was added at the bottom. Now I can go back, and now you can see how the holidays are appearing in my calendar. I can go click on the three dots on the side, go to settings, and here is the calendar ID that I can use in my request to the Google Calendar API. Well, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on how to create an API key in Google Cloud Console. Please remember to like and subscribe for more developer tips. As always, any links mentioned in this video can be found in the description below. And I hope you will return again for my next video.